Hello everybody, Mary to Katie K here. Just wanted to come to you guys with just this quick video. Um, and as you can tell from the title, I know you're probably wondering what it's about, so I won't keep you long. I'll just get right into it. So today is a Sunday night. Um, right now it's a Sunday night. I've had a wonderful Sunday and I'm going to tell you why. The first great day I've had in a few days. And I'm going to tell you why. So here recently I have been dealing with some issues. Not anything going on in my own home, but things going on in the homes of people that I love dearly, my family and friends that I allow to affect my life. And I know you're wondering, like, why would you do that? But that does happen to us a lot of times when we help our friends bear burdens and we say that we're going to pray with them about it. A lot of times we can carry the load too and we actually take it on instead of fully releasing it ourselves. And so one of the issues in particular I was dealing with was really weighing on my spirit heavy because this is someone who's so near and dear to me and I was trying to figure out how it happened and, and what I could have done to maybe just encourage them along the way so that, that this wouldn't have happened. And even though I didn't have anything to, to do with it and it was something that was indirect directly affecting me it was you know really hurtful and I really hated to see them have to deal with this and I was sad and burdened and I felt so heavy and I, I, I just couldn't understand I was so confused and one of the rules me and my husband have in our marriage is that we do not allow outside factors into our marriage it's me and him we come together as one. Jobs are not included. Our friends and family's opinions, what we do is not included. It's just me and him and then the children and then everybody else. That's how it works in our house and it works well. And I started to let this affect my day-to-day -day routine, you know, because I started to get depressed. And that's not, that goes completely against our rules, you know. And so my husband was saying, baby, you got to let it go. You got to let it go. You got to let it go. And I kept saying, I'm letting it go. You know, I, I would tell a couple, you know, I have my short list. I would talk to one of the women on my short list and I would tell them what's going on. I said, but you know what? Even though that's going on, I believe God because grace is for everybody and mercy is for everybody. And after this... I just cannot wait to hear the testimony because this is going to be a testimony to what God can do. And I'm saying I believe and I'm smiling like I believe. But on the inside, I am torn up and I am still bound. And I just couldn't figure out why. You know, God, I'm saying it. I'm confessing your word, but I'm not acting on it. So today on the way to church, we actually heard a sermon. It was preached by Patterson. Reverend Patterson, and I will insert the name, but um, and if I can find a link to it, I will. But he was talking about fetters, and if you're not familiar with a fetter, um, people a lot of times will talk about chains, and a lot of times when you think about chains, you mainly think about them on your hands. And so he was talking about how your hands, your chains can be broken off of your hands, but you're still bound because there's a fetter on your feet, and a fetter is just a contraption made to keep your feet bound. And so he was like, you know, your hands are free. So you can lift them, you can worship, you can praise, but you cannot move forward because your feet are still bound in the situation. And so then he started to sing the song, Jesus Breaks Every Fetter. And that's an old, 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 old song. Jesus breaks every fetter and he sets me free. And tears just started to run down my face because I, I realized that I wasn't free. Even though I said, I confessed the word of God, even though I believed in, and even though the situation is not mine, I'm believing for my family member, I'm believing for whatever my friend may be going through, I hadn't fully released it, and so it was weighing on me heavy. And so even though my hands could be lifted, my feet were still bound, and I couldn't move past the conversation. Then something else would happen in reference to the main situation that had me bound, and something else would happen, and something else would happen, I just was steady, trapped, and bound, but I kept saying, I'm free but I really wasn't and so as I started to hear the song I started to, to tear up and I prayed and I said God when I go to church today I'm going to leave different I choose life amen and so it's so funny when I well not funny but I just thank God that when I went to church that happened to be what the um, songs were about, you know, he'll bring you out was one of the songs that were sang, um, that was sang that Sunday. You know, how awesome is that? Jesus will bring you out. He's a, when you're in trouble, he'll bring you out when you need him, he'll bring you out. And then that's what the summer was about, you know, not being bound and choosing life. And one of the things that, um, the pastor talked about, he was saying that, you know, in life we make choices and every action that you make is a choice. You choose life to have this reaction. You choose to do these certain things. So depression is a choice. And I know some people be like, well, no, you can be clinically depressed. You can be, but everybody gets depressed, okay? The best of us, the worst of us, we all get depressed, but you have got to make a decision that I'm not gonna be depressed anymore. I choose life. Sadness, 
I'm not going to be sad anymore. I choose to live. You know, and honestly, even making a choice to go past happy and I choose joy because happiness comes and goes. But having the joy of the Lord is something totally different. And so I just could not let the day end without saying how phenomenal it is to go to the altar in prayer and just repeat the same prayer that I prayed in the car to come into church and hear it and to hear the pastor preach to know that God definitely heard me because he put it on the pastor's lips to he put it on the lips of the psalmist to sing it and then to have it confirmed to me on the altar that I am freeing you from this you are released from this choose life choose to life and so choose to live and so that is what I want to just say to you guys today because that is something that I decided to do when I tell you I had the best day I didn't have a headache today like I've been having I didn't emotionally eat candy today like I've been eating I didn't I didn't feel bad today you know when people called me and actually needed me I didn't I didn't encourage them but on the inside I was tore up and sad you know I actually felt free to really pray for them and to know that God heard my prayers because I felt like the fetter was gone okay I felt free today and I'm so grateful so I just wanted to let you guys know you know I know this is not necessarily a growth challenge video I only put those out once a month but this is just something I couldn't let the month go by or another day go by without sharing with you guys you know make the choice Make the choice to live. And life will come at you good, bad, ugly. That just happens, okay? We have no control over it. Honestly, if you read your words, you'll see what kind of days you're promised, okay? But God is faithful. God is faithful. God is just. And he hears the prayers of his children. And all you have to do is choose life. And even in doing that, that doesn't mean that every day is going to be rosy, but you choose joy. Knowing that the joy of the Lord truly is your strength. Knowing that you get your strength from God. You get your strength and your love and your covering and your peace. Everything that you get is from Him. Knowing that if you are living righteous, your prayers do avail it much. Knowing that, you know, knowing the correct way to ask for stuff. Knowing how to receive help if you need help. You know, those are things that that we have to learn as mature believers, no matter what stage of life we're on. You learn it for the stage that it is needed. And I'm just so very grateful that today I made a conscious decision to choose to live and to really let go. And to know that my chains had been broken, but I was still bound at the feet. I couldn't move forward because I had fetters on my feet. But I thank God for freedom. And I thank God for release. And I thank God for life. I thank God for life and I thank God for life abundantly because I know that in the end of my this, and I don't know what your this is, but in the end of my this, and this is not even a situation, like I said, going on in my own house. This is just me feeling for something that somebody else is going through. In the end of that this, I look forward to hearing the victory, the testimony, and I thank God that I'm going to be there to rejoice with my family member when they are free and they're ready to move forward. And I'm going to thank God that I'm going to be ready to rejoice with my friends and what they're going through because that's the kind of friend and family member that I am. And so whatever your this is, I challenge you to really lay it out at the altar. I challenge you to look at your hands and even though the chains are gone, check your feet and make sure that you're not taking something with you. Let those fetters be broken in Jesus' name. Let those chains and shackles be loosed in Jesus' name. Be free. Be free and choose life. Choose life. Choose life. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next video. And if you want to know some more things about what I have to say about choosing life, then check out my blog. Bye.